What is a risk radar and how to create it? So when we talk about the three steps of agility, detect what's happening in the environment, assess and then respond, the detection part is hard because we need to understand what is the nature of our environment, what are the factors that matter to us. And as you and I talked in the beginning, one of the ways to do it is to say, instead of me thinking about every imaginable scenario and imaginable outcome, why don't I focus on the kinds of risks that I'm exposed to, geopolitical, financial, strategic, and then I will monitor things that are relevant to that exercise. So the risk radar is one way in which a company can, can do that. The company can identify a variety of risks that are relevant to it in terms of future technological disruption, trade wars, economic cycles, uh, operational breakdowns, regulatory changes, whatever the case may be. And then it can quantify and assess it and then map it onto what are the kinds of things that could change in the environment that can truly affect our business. So risk radar is a construct that, it, that would come as a familiar concept to financial professionals, some of the business professionals, has been really expanded in this book to really help any organization conceptualize it, implement it in practice. But it takes it one step further and it really talks about sort of a somewhat technical difference between risk and uncertainty. Because a lot of our exposures as an organization belong in the realm of risk. You know, we could lose 30% of our stock market investment. What does that mean? But a lot of it lives in the realm of uncertainty. What if artificial intelligence evolves in a certain way that dramatically changes uh, the entire landscape? Or what if breakthroughs in gene editing lead to people living dramatically longer? What would it do to the budgets of cities and governments and pensions and insurance, and et cetera? Right? So these are not risks, they are uncertainties, and they have to be conceptualized and managed very differently. So, so the book has a lot of big picture thinking and the framework for agility, but it goes into some of these very important technical details to really explain how to do it in practice.